Hey! Welcome back to Bruise with Beck. I'm Dan, and how the hell are you tonight? I'm great. Uh, you know, ready to get on to this beer number two in the Mystery Peep game, uh, otherwise known as What Beer Is This? Uh, no idea what it is. It's obviously Moses Malone, number two for the Sixers back in the day. I, uh, so yeah, not much to say. Just gonna get right to it. Baby's, uh, trying to sleep in the other room. So, big ups Timmy Tebow, big ups Buffs. Um, yeah. Let's, uh, let's pour this bad boy. Ooh, dark stout looks syrupy. Alright. Please, usual favor, crush the like button, crush the subscribe button. Very much appreciated. Thank you much. And let's get on with the stout. It is the mystery. All right, all right, all right. Like and subscribe. Thank you much. All right. So, I can already tell that it looks very syrupy. Pete, thought, thought, thought there was supposed to be some fresh IPAs right off the bat. Okay, little aroma check. Smells... Oh, it's like maple-y, or like, almost smells like maple and nutty, uh, with a little bit of ch chocolate and syrup in there. All right, that's about what I've got. Syrupy, maple, nutty, um, thick. All right, no words, just emotions. Let's find out what this bad boy is. Maybe even a little, like, ever so slight touch of roasted coffee. Definitely thick. I'd say mouthfeel on this is, like, sheesh, maybe, like, 70%. Pretty big. Maybe even 80%. It's a, one of the most chewy beers I've had in a while. Maybe hazelnut? I'm not sure. Hazelnut and toffee, chocolate. All right. Well, it's a short little can, so we'll see. But um, So this is some kind of, it's not barrel aged, I don't think. Pastry stout. I'm going to guess the percentage on this bad boy. Ah, it doesn't feel like it's that big, um, but I'm going to go 10, 10 flat, 10% 10 on the Richter. Got to be quiet. Uh, that's my, that's my guess. So pastry stout with, I'm going to say hazelnut, maybe vanilla, uh, coke. I don't think it's any cocoa nibs, just chocolatey. And, uh, yeah, that's what I got. 10%. And those are the, the adjuncts of this stout. Uh, give me one second. I'm going to, we're going to figure out what it is. Hold on. Alrighty. Um, here we go. This is, if you can see it, Fishing with Horus. Literally from Humble Forager Brewery out of Wanakee, Wisconsin. Collaboration with Hor Horus Aged Ales or Horus Aged, I'm not sure. I would assume Horus Aged Ales. Horus. <laughs> um, this one is actually 13% on the Richter. Big boy. So 3% off, I guess 10. Um, so anyway, um, the stout is, it, let's see, what does it have? Um, says it's literally has roasted, has a ton of Oregon hazelnuts, um, a ton of Sri Lankan toasted coconut before doused with barrel aged Wisconsin or barrel aged, yeah, barrel aged Wisconsin maple syrup and fresh ground uh, Mostra coffee beans. We brewed this beautiful beer with our brilliant pals at Oris Aged Ales in Oceanside, California. Not too far from me. But uh, yeah, I think I saw this at Handy Market. Um, roasted hazelnuts, toasted coconut, maple syrup, and Mostra coffee. I did say, at least I'll say that, I did say that I thought this was hazelnut, so I got that right, and I said vanilla. It's not vanilla. 
but I did say I got coffee. I should have, I didn't know if it's actually brewed with coffee or not, if it just had that little bit of a roasted thing. Definitely did, should, should have gotten the coconut maybe. Yeah, I should have gotten that. Sometimes it's hard for me if, if I don't know something's coconut to recognize the coconut, but now that I get it, now that I taste it again, it's it's there. And yeah, you get the maple syrup was subtle for me, but I felt like I got a little maple syrup. So yeah, all right. Well, um, oh wow, well. I was in such a hurry because I'm on tight schedule. Uh, just to uh, shoot this one that I forgot to rate it. So, sorry I didn't rate it. I'm, be I'm being dead on. I wish I would have rated it before I unveiled it. From Stellar down to Hell No, based off of even how I felt about it before I knew all this. Yeah. People seem to love it on Untapped. But, yeah, I think that's where I was going with it before... Uh, I got to revealing it. A Wanakee, Wisconsin slash Ocean Oceanside Solid. I feel like it's kind of vaguely, um, pretty somewhat similar to the uh, beer number one that's from um, the Arvada Brewery. Um, oh, geez. New, new image. Um, very similar. I mean, except that one was more vanilla. This is more hazelnut, but. And that was four percentage points more, 17.3 versus 13. So, anyhow, um, this is really good out of 100. So, I'd rate this an A beer, solid. Uh, again, I would give it just a, yeah, give it a straight 95 out of 100. Um, really good. So, props to Humble Forager and uh, uh, who else? Who is it again? Horus Aged Ales out of Oceanside. Well done. Good beer. Um, percentage doesn't feel, it does not feel 13%. You betcha. So, yeah. If you can find this, um, I think I got, it's in Burbank at a handy market, I think. Um, <laughs> actually, that Pete, that's probably the one you were talking about, maybe. Um, anyhow. That's about it on this one. Uh, I feel like I was relatively close, just still a little off on the percentage, but uh, I've got um, the the Lagunitas uh, Unrefined Sugar coming up. I'm going to do uh, another one from Monkish, or another one from, yeah, another one from Monkish, and uh, oh yeah, I do have one from, I think it's Highland Park that I need to get drinking because it's a fresh double IPA uh, New England. So anyway, good talk. Go get this beer. It's pretty, pretty damn good. We'll see you out there. And uh, yeah, that's, that's all I got. Like and subscribe. Thank you. Tim Tebow.